Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hello, YouTube. Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and this is the Bofung GT5TP. So the name Bofung, that's where I started my channel, believe it or not. I figured with an amateur radio operator of myself with a few years experience, when I got involved in amateur radio, I asked a lot of questions. And of course, I would uh, try to help others. And that's where this channel originated from, was helping the newcomer to the hobby. And the Bofung radios were ever so popular, and they still are a little bit popular, but everybody was getting one. They were cheap. They were built pretty good. I mean, I never had any issues with them. I heard some people bashing them, but you know what? At this price, with this performance, if I drop it on the ground and break it, I wouldn't be upset. You know, it's it's uh, it's definitely a cheap alternative. And I have Yesus, I have Ushans, I have uh, Icoms, and and nobody can tell when I'm on this, so it's doing its job. The Bofung GT5 TP. This comes from Radiodity.com. R a d i o d d i t y. The link is in the description. That store is is amazing. Their customer service people there are great, and uh, it's a lot better than ordering from some guy on eBay if you don't know if you're getting a guarantee. So check out the store. The link is in the description. And you remember the Bofung, they came out with the UV5R. That was the first video I did on this channel. And then they came out with stuff like the GT3, which was the whole upgraded Bofung. Essentially the same radio, the same specs, but a whole new design. And they tried fixing a few bugs in the firmware and stuff. But so many different models of the UV5R, UV5RA, UV5RE, RE, all those. Well, Something like the GT5 TP, or they even had the GT3 TP, is basically almost the same radio that you're familiar with, but it says high output 8 watts. So TP stands for tri-power. It's supposed to be uh, 1 watt, 4 watts, or 8 watts. And um, we're going to see on the power meter what that does. It does come with a higher capacity battery than the standard UV5R. And it has all the same features. So without being redundant and showing you everything about an unboxing, yes, it comes with the radio, the battery, the charger. The charging base is different than a UV5R or a TP, uh, excuse me, GT3. The antenna, which is basically the same sort of antenna, uh, they're just changing the minor improvements on them or trying to, but it's essentially the same antenna. And a lot of people go for an aftermarket antenna. The belt clip and the manual is somewhere on my desk here, but it also comes with the speaker lapel mic here. Uh, but we'll skip this and just go right into the, ra the uh, radio. But the, uh, the battery is different than your UV5R or GT3. So this does say 2100 milliamp hour. The box says 2000. I'm going to go with what's on the battery. A uh, little bit better than the 1800 milliamp that came with the original UV5Rs. And the battery just slides on and clicks on like this. Um, the antenna connector. SMA male on the radio, SMA female on the antenna. And there's a wide, you can get all kinds of antennas. Uh, I, I personally, personally like Diamond or MFJ antennas. Haven't had a problem with either one of them. Uh, a better antenna is always, is always uh, recommended. Looking at the radio here, compared to something like a GT3. Here's a GT3 you might be familiar with. So about the same size, a little bit different layout, you know. Keypad is laid out more like a UV82, but overall, just about the same radio. Uh, on the left or on the right, excuse me, there's a speaker mic flap here. The same programming cable, the same speaker mic, so you don't have to get new ones. On the uh, left, the PTT button. This is a dual PTT, so the top controls VFOA, the bottom controls VFOB. So making it where you don't have, if you have two separate programmed Repeaters in here, you can just do either or like this. You don't have to go back and forth. Um, function and monitor button. Flashlight on the top, which can does come in handy, believe it or not. Uh, my uh, Icon and the ACs don't have a flashlight, so there you go. So looking at it when you turn it on. Frequency mode. Sounds like just old classic UV5R, right? In fact, if I hold the 3 and turn it on, it should show me firmware. N8, oh, that's pretty fast. Let's do it again. N82303. So it's a whole different firmware compared to the older ones, okay? Um, so a backlit keypad, when you turn the light off, 
definitely easy to see in the dark, right? You can change the color of the background screen there um, with different uh, red, blue, and orange, or orange, blue, and purple for whatever you want, transmit, receive, and idle. Um, but the same features, if I hit, if I type in a frequency repeater, okay, and then I hit menu, 26, there's your offset, 25 is your shift, 13 is your tone. That's the same way all the other ones were. That's the fastest way you can get on this radio and get on a repeater. The tone, the offset, the frequency, and the shift. Okay, so those right there you can get on a repeater instantly. Makes it easier to program it with a cable and software, but you can do it that way. Uh, so the speaker on the front uh, it gets very loud. In fact, uh, let me see. Uh, got a radio is dead here. Let's try this. One, four, six, zero, zero. Okay. Testing one, two. Oh, I got an offset. Let's see. Hello. Oh, that's loud, huh? Testing one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Testing, testing. It does have quite a, you know, and when I kept, when I tell you about the speaker is because something like, uh, I have a couple radios that are actually icons and they, they just do not have a good sounding speaker. If I have to hold it to my ear when I'm outside, that's not a good speaker. This thing will blow you away uh, as far as the volume. But all the same menu functions here, the tones, uh, you can change the voice or turn it off, you know, all the different uh, things here, PTTID, the, uh, you know, it's the same exact menu as a Bofeng GT3. So nothing new to learn, just higher output power. Let's put this on the power meter and see if it, what it does. Let's see the actual power rating. And connected to the MFJ894, as I used in the last few videos, uh, that's a good power meter I like. Um, what I'll do is I have a cable that's got a little bit of an issue up here, so I have to kind of hold the top of it down. But uh, 145, 100. Let's see what we get. Just over six watts on high power. If I go to one, four, seven, five, zero, zero. One, four, seven, five, zero, zero. Almost uh, almost six and a half. Uh, let's see. Six and a half. Uh, we go down to the center One, of the band. Four, six, zero, zero, zero. Center of the band. Six watts. So I'm getting six watts, uh, and that, and I may have a better. Uh, I don't have a dummy load. I'm into an antenna. As I said before, my dummy load was borrowed and never brought back, so I might have got a little better result on a dummy load. But uh, let's go to UHF here. Let's go down to uh, four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. Take the offset off. Okay, let's see what uh, this does. Three watts on UHF. Four, four, eight, zero, zero. Three watts. Four, four, two. Zero, zero. Three watts. So three watts across the board on UHF. Um, you know, you. on VHF, if I go into something like business One, band. Five, four, two, zero, zero. Business band is about seven watts. Um, you know, so it may achieve eight watts but it doesn't look like in the actual amateur band. So you're looking at in the, One, four, the uh, six, five, five, zero. simplex frequency, VHF, six watts, all right? Overall though, solid radio. I think the, the key word is up to. Lately they've been saying up to eight watts because it may not be exactly 8 watts. Uh, will it be better than a 4 watt? Well, 
Yeah, you need to double your power to make any significant increase, um, but I'd rather have a six watt than a four watt. Uh, so, give you an idea of what you're getting there, and, and I need to get a dummy load, so maybe in the future I'll retest these at a dummy load, but I do want to see, uh, and I've said it before in videos, I want to see a video I make in the neighborhood with all these handhelds I have and see at a mile or two miles which one sounds the best. That'll be the, the most critical of the uh, testing. So for now though, this is the GT5 TP. Uh, same programming basically. It may work with Chirp. I haven't tested with Chirp, but it's it's identical to the programming of a GT3 and such. So I'm not going to uh, be redundant on that. But check out radioddity.com for the GT5 TP. And subscribe and check out my other videos. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.